Welcome to Maze Pro Workshop. My name is Rebecca Healy, a district sales representative. We got Doug Noblesberger, VP of Marketing, Dan LaJoy, Product Manager, and we've got uh, Nate Dennis, who is uh, Director of Energy and Projects. So we're gonna do some education today, um, and then we're gonna be learning about our uh, Remfos products. At the very end, there's gonna be a quiz. If you receive five out of six correct, you're gonna be entered into a drawing to win a Remfos polo. We're giving 10 of those away. And then if you get a perfect score, you're going to be entered into a drawing to receive um, a $200 Visa gift card. Two, we, 200? 200. And we got five of those. Wow. So I'm excited. If you have any uh, questions at all, use the chat uh, box and I'll be able to I'll answer those as much as I can. And then we'll have a live Q&A at the end um, to answer your questions. So Doug, any updates before we dive into training? Yeah, uh, just a quick agenda, uh, expanding on what Rebecca said, we'll do a quick company update, uh, then uh, Dan and Nate are going to talk to you guys about our Remfos LBE and Type-C T5 and T8 products, uh, and then we're going to bring it back to Rebecca and I, and we're going to talk to you about uh, our new Remfos base uh, brand and some of the fixtures uh, within that offering, uh, and then as Rebecca said, we'll do a little quiz at the end. Um, and give away some uh, some prizes for those that uh, that do well on it. So um, I am pleased to let you guys know that are on the other end. This is kind of how it's going to go. We don't have any PowerPoint slides for you. I hope uh, nobody's too bummed out about that. But uh, trying to you know make these as live as possible and as if you guys were here with us in our conference room or out at our uh, Middleton uh, Innovation and Manufacturing Center. So um, so company updates. Uh, so, uh, for our reps that are on the call, uh, you should have received an email from uh, John Fredrickson, our Director of Brand Marketing, on Friday with our new uh, marketing catalog. Kind of put everything together to show you guys what we have available. Um, with things opening up and, and you know, more tra traffic at the, uh, at the counters, we want to make sure that, uh, that we give you guys all the tools that you need to be successful. So, uh, just let us know what you need and we'll get you guys uh, taken care of. Um, also excited to announce that we've got a new catalog uh, that should be shipping out around mid-June, uh, so just a few weeks away from that, so that'll have all the latest and greatest innovations from Light Efficient Design and all of our brands. Um, so that'll be going out uh, along with a nice little highlight sheet, uh, two-page front and back that'll call attention to all the new products and even give you a little page number of where to find them in the new catalog. Um, and then probably one of the coolest things to announce is, uh, is here in Cary, Illinois, where Rebecca and I are, uh, we are opening our uh, Cary Chicagoland uh, warehouse uh, June 1st. Uh, so we're going to have some of our uh, top selling SKUs uh, stocked here, uh, a few pallets of each. Um, so if you are in Illinois or a neighboring state, um, you'll be getting product from us a little bit quicker. Um, so really excited about that and more uh, information on that to come. Um, so those are the company updates that I have for today. Um, at this time, we're going to kick it over to Middleton for uh, Dan and Nate to do a little deep dive into uh, Remfoss LBE and Type C products. Take it away, guys. Thanks, thanks, Doug. Thanks, Rebecca. So, so I want to begin by um, firstly, we're going to. This is the first time Dan and I have actually ever done a webinar together. So we're 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 having a little fun with the free form. We haven't practiced too much yet, but we're both so involved with these products that um, I think you'll find that it will go pretty smoothly. So a um, couple of housekeeping notes. One, we're all getting out and beginning to travel now. So if you have opportunities for any of these products that we talk about today, and you need either a very custom presentation done, additional training, um, we can do those types of things now back in person, or you can come bring your customers and come up to our Middleton training facility. Um, we're ready to go. Uh, the economy is ready to go. So, so please keep that in mind and engage us when you need us to help you with some of these technical products and to help them uh, get seeded into your area. So we're going to talk about um, two products today, as Doug mentioned. We're going to talk about something called the bar kit, which is down below and what it is and how it works. We've had this product in the market for some time now, and it wasn't until uh, recently that we've just upgraded it to what I think is a state of the art and state of the industry version. And then above it, we have a tube-based solution. We call it Remfos Type C because it needs a driver. But what makes these two products the same and different, we're gonna explore, 
but it all begins with the driver technology that drives these two things. So um, I'm gonna have uh, Dan talk a little bit about the drivers and the driver options. And then uh, we'll uh, dig a little deeper into the actual when you would use a bar versus when you might use a tube solution. Okay, so the drivers on these, uh, we really turn this into a full family product line. Uh, so the drivers on these are flex wattage. So each driver has four wattage selections and uh, all of those wattage selections are available underneath uh, this rubber dot. You can see some dip switches there. So these can be adjusted in the field. Um, so that's a big upgrade above our uh, older model, which was each driver had a single set wattage. So each driver has four wattages. Uh, we have four drivers in the family. So we have a total of 16 different wattages to select from. And, and I would just comment on that to say, in our old version, we had seven. So we now are up to 16 and that gives you a lot more flexibility. And then if you're a distributor from a stocking side, you really only have four SKUs to give you 16 different lumen packages, uh, which is I think pretty important. Absolutely. And uh, some other features that we've included on this driver is uh, 12 volt auxiliary and dim to off. Uh, you can see these uh, slightly smaller gauge wires for the low voltage. Uh, the uh, gray and purple are standard zero to 10. And then between uh, gray and yellow is 12 volt auxiliary. And so that would be uh, to be using sensors such as the uh, low voltage uh, microwave sensor that we offer on many of our products already. Uh, this is much easier to wire up. You simply uh, plug these wires in. Uh, this is low voltage wires, so that can snake outside of your driver box. And then this can be uh, attached uh, behind the lens. The microwave sensor can see through the lens. Um, this does have uh, daylight hold off and they can detect that through the lens. So we call the, we call the driver dim to off technology, which means it's most modern version, which allows you to use multiple control systems. So we also have some additional items and I'll let uh, Dan speak to that control as well. So you saw our basic sensor comes on at 100%, drops to 30% and can be programmable to different settings with a handheld remote control uh, that we can commission right along with it in the field. So that's a, a simple sensor and that would be one to one. So one sensor would control one fixture. Uh, we also have uh, another version. This is a simple grouping RF sensor. You can see it has a little pigtail antenna on here. Um, now what this can do is you can uh, do simple groups uh, either with the dip switches uh, or with a remote control. Uh, some cool things about this, uh, you can use this in the bar kit and some of our other products. Um, it avoids the popcorn effect in say a hallway. Um, this sensor can control a light fixture that's further down the run. Um, this would be a, a sensor that is used with a simple remote control, uh, no tablet interface. Um, we can also do advanced control. So this is actually just a fixture controller and it connects to the three wires, uh, just like you saw before. And then this can be used with uh, wireless switches and uh, Bluetooth grouping system. So you'd use a, a tablet to do your uh, commissioning and setup. Um, and so all of this is easily upgradable on the standard driver. So Dan, just to be clear, so whether or not you're using a REMFOS type C with our driver, wherever the driver went, oh, here it is. <laughs> So whether or not you're using this combination or whether or not you're using the bar and driver combination, all of those different grouping and, and sensor options, simple sensor, I'll work with this. Right? Absolutely, the, the driver is really the uh, controller of this operation. Um, and so it can be used with uh, the external drive T5s, the external drive T8s and the uh, new thin T5 bar kits. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that's zero to 10 volt with the intelligent 12 volt power supply that powers all those sensors. That's really neat. So what if somebody says, geez, you know what? I want line voltage dimming. Do we have any options for these products? Yeah, absolutely. The great thing about uh, the type C and the external drive products is the drivers are separate. So we can swap to a different technology. So in that case, we would 
do a driver swap to something like this. This is a line voltage dimming LED driver. Um, and there's, uh, again, a number of drivers in these families and uh, they are flexible wattage. Um, and that would operate off a standard uh, AC dimming dimmer. Okay, so sometimes we call it triac dimming, sometimes we call it line voltage dimming, um, all of that. So, so let me just think about questions on this. Can you do 277? Yes, this driver family will do line voltage dimming at 277, and you can contact us and we'll help you find the appropriate dimmer. The other buzz term for those of you that want to get technical is forward or reverse phase dimming can all occur within this driver. Correct. This yeah. driver family does either forward or reverse phase, um, also known as leading edge or trailing edge. Um, it does both, so you don't have to worry about getting the correct one. It's all in the same driver. I don't know about that. So the other thing, Dan, that I'm seeing a lot of now in the field is something called step dimming. So Absolutely. you want to talk a little bit about how our step dimming module works on these two products? Sure. So for step dimming, what we've created is a, a secondary module, an inexpensive module that connects to the 12 volt auxiliary and 10 V dim. And it's sensing the, uh, uh, the 12 volt auxiliary. And what you can do is you connect this to the driver, to the, uh, to the low voltage connections here. And then when you flip the, a standard AC light switch on and off quickly within one second, it'll do the step dimming. So this module will control the driver and have it come on at either 30% or 60% uh, initially. And then you would do a quick flip with the standard AC switch off and then on within one second, and then it would go up to 100%. So it's a really simple way to encourage energy efficiency. The light will always come on at an energy efficient dim level. And if the user of that space wants more light, then they can do the quick flip of the standard AC light switch and have it come to 100%. That's pretty cool or something to note. You're doing these smaller office areas where the electrician doesn't want to run purple and gray low voltage wiring, doesn't want to put in a control system, doesn't want to do any of that. You can offer your customers a really neat way to give them two levels of dimming or two levels of light just by adding this little piece into our driver. A very simple thing to do. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Putting uh, one of these modules in, say, small offices that have, you know, four to six light fixtures, actually adding this module will be less expensive than a standard dimmer. So, I mean, you're able to add that dimming functionality at a low cost. So, um, one question lot about these days is in the system right now is battery backup system. So can you explain a little bit about the battery backup system? I know we offer multiples, but can you just maybe zero in on this particular one with the sure so this is a, a really popular model. Um, it is a, a full M EMG so it's uh, got the name brand of the uh, emergency battery uh, top brand name. Um, now this has the battery inside. So this is a uh, four watt, 500 lumen for 90 minute unit. Uh, everything is inside here and you can connect this to actually power your exact uh, bars or lamps. Or we have the option to use the same driver with a standalone LED PCB. This keeps it very simple for install. The two systems are, are completely separate. Um, and this could, will also do 500 lumens for 90 minutes. So if you're a seller out there or if you're a facility manager, know that there are a whole bunch of different options with battery backup these days. Sometimes you, want, you don't want to add an extra standalone into it and have, uh, have it as just using your bar or using your lamp. Other times, you, as Dan said, you might just want a simple standalone emergency backup system but either way, we also uh, includes includes a, a test switch, right? Did you show that? Yep. E yeah. each, each kit will include the test switch. Um, and that's about it. I that's mean, about it. That's so, there is, but, yeah. but sometimes you'll look at a spec and somebody might say, hey, I need two hours of battery life instead of 90 minutes. These are all things that we can do to accommodate uh, your, your design in the field. So 
if you see something unusual or you have questions, those are the types of things to bubble up. And we have all sorts of different options in battery backup for you. Yeah, so right now, this is a great high runner, uh, 500 lumens for 90 minutes. If you do need more lumens or more time, reach out to us and we have uh, many kits in stock that we can, can set up for you. Let's talk, let's talk about the, uh, our, our type, we call it REMPLOS Type C, which is a fancy name for T8s and T5s that run on that driver that Dan was explaining earlier. So, um, hmm. so what, Dan, if you were thinking about this product, what things do you think we should talk about uh, for the folks on the call? Uh, well, the great thing about this is um, it's a wide beam angle. So uh, if you're going to go with a, if you're retrofitting a kit that has uh, indirect light, um, this will shine up a little bit um, to provide some light upwards. This has about a 300 degree viewing angle um, and a, about a 270 degree beam angle, um, but it does throw some light up. Um, these, the T5s are true T5s. They're 25 watts of LED, which is a true T5HO replacement. Um, the great thing about uh, the driver and lamp system is uh, these can always be uh, powered down to be less. So that the same lamp with a lower wattage driver or, or dimming the driver down, this can be the same light output of a T5 HE or a standard T5 or an HO. Those wattage settings on those drivers start as low as six watts and go all the way up to uh, 80 watts. 80 watts, yeah. So you can really jam a lot of light through uh, these T5 family of tubes. So we have a four foot and a two foot. And again, don't don't um, don't um, underestimate that power of being able to quickly up up light down light retrofits has always been somewhat of an issue for LED because of the very limited beam angles. But with the reflected light, you can get away with using this tube in those in upgrade um, in those situations. So let's talk about our um, LBEs, we call them. And I'm gonna smack you in the, this is what happens when you have too many people in front of a little camera. So so um, what's begin, why don't you begin with a quick comparison between our old one and our new one, just to give them a sense of how much engineering we've put into it to upgrade it, is that? Sure, absolutely. So, um, uh, the the older one was a T8 diameter. The new one is a T6 diameter. So it's a little bit more narrow, uh, help you fit that into a few more places, especially uh, like the T5s that have the, the more narrow fixtures. Um, the older one, the four foot, the maximum wattage was 20 watts. Uh, the new four foot, the maximum wattage is 25 watts. Um, plus the lumens per watt is much better. The old one was about 130, the new one is about 165. Uh, so that gets you way into the true T5HO replacement, uh, where the old one was a little short in that regard. Um, we have many uh, new accessories. So one popular accessory for trough or retrofits uh, are these uh, standoffs. Uh, so this is if you're de-lamping, say you have a, a three lamp and you're going to a two lamp, uh, one of those lamps might end up being on top of the uh, driver cover. Uh, so you can use these on the other lamp to keep the uh, lights at the same level. Uh, you could also use these to bring the lights a little bit closer to the lens and get a little bit more delivered lumens. Uh, so that's a great so, so what I'm, Yeah, so what I'm showing you guys is this old, very deep cell tropper. And so anybody that's been selling fluorescent for a long time will know that you lose an awful lot of light and fluorescence when you're when you're um, when you're putting tubes fluorescent tubes into a deep cell parabolic style fixture and you can notice from the side how deep it is um, so dan was showing you that we call it a bridge that bridge technology allows you to drop the um, the bar down deeper or closer to the person so you can actually reduce re de-lamp uh, which and then also reduce your wattage to get more light 
firing out of these. It's a cool little uh, accessory that if you're into counting watts and energy savings, it's something that you should look at seriously when you're specking out or designing one of these or even reaching out to us to give us some idea of what you need. Yep, and then also uh, in similar fashion, uh, we have this slightly smaller bridge. We call this the short bridge. Uh, this picks the bar up about a quarter of an inch. Uh, that's good for retrofits where the back pan is not completely flat. Uh, so you need the feet to actually kind of uh, dig in and, and find some uh, flat space there. Um, also, if you're running any wires uh, underneath the bar, uh, it produces a little bit of space there. Uh, so we have the two lengths, the tall bridge and the short bridges. Um, and those, they just unclip and they can be clipped anywhere on the bar, uh, just uh, very similar to the magnet that's included. So with the LBE, we have lengths ranging from uh, four feet uh, to one foot. Uh, so this one is the, the one foot. It's a little bit shorter, like all of our bars uh, to fit in between the sockets. So this one is uh, 10.4 inches. Um, this one gets into areas where like uh, sconces and you know smaller fixtures uh, that generally wouldn't have a good LED linear replacement. Uh, these have been very popular. Um, we'll leave it at that. So, we'll leave it at that. so, so we're, we're gonna wrap it up here to, and flip it back to Carrie. But before we do, I just wanted to give you a very quick summary. So it begins with looking at that driver and, and understanding what type of light level that you want. It, then you would take make start making a, a, a guess as to whether or not you want to retrofit with a tube. And, and if you're doing up light, down light, that's a good way to go. But if the sockets, if you're using a regular fixture and the sockets are all beat up, then you might want to take a look at the bar technology. But remember, regardless with all those different lumen packages, we can hit now true T5HO, or as Dan said, T5HE, which would be a normal T5 output. We can do T8HO or regular T8. So you have an abundance of options when you use RUMFOS type C or our new LBE kits, all of which are brand new products for 20, in 2020? 2021, <laughs> you know what? I've lost the whole year with COVID, go figure. Hey, uh, Rebecca and uh, Doug, back to you. Thanks a lot, guys. That was uh, very, very helpful. Good to see it in person. Good to see the products and, uh, you know, show about it instead of, you know, like I said earlier, the PowerPoint. So, um, so we'll, uh, we'll take it from here and you guys can uh, turn your video and uh, mic off and we'll go full screen. There we go. All right. So for this next scene, you don't see Rebecca right now, but Rebecca is going to be playing herself, Rebecca Healy, uh, district sales representative. If you didn't know, Rebecca had got a, a promotion here to get more involved with our sales organization. Uh, so she'll be playing herself, representing light efficient and design. And I will be playing Doug from Chicago Electric Supply and Bear Super Fan. Go Bears! Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Doug. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Good. I'm so happy to be doing in-person meetings now. Oh my gosh! Tell me about it. All those Zoom meetings. Am I right? What's right. going on? How are you? I'm great. Um, so anything you're currently working on? Uh, actually, funny you ask, uh, I just got back from a little uh, audit uh, down in Old Town near uh, Lou Malnati's. Um, but uh, it's 20, 20 story apartment building. Uh, we're looking at uh, doing uh, replacing their uh, existing stairwell fixtures. Um, so we've got quite a bit of those and then uh, even more of a surface mount fixture for, uh, for the hallways throughout okay. the apartment complex. Do you, uh, you have anything uh, like that? Yeah, I have a great solution from our brand Remfoss. And so I've got the Live C and then our Pro Series drum fixtures. Okay, so awesome. I did I did bring our Live C. Oh, nice. That's a nice looking fixture. Yeah. So this is our two foot uh, Pro Series Live C. We have, it comes in a two foot, a three foot and a four foot, but I'm gonna tell you why it's so great. It has the ability to be ordered um, with an integrated microwave sensor oh, wow. and that it can actually be seen through the lens. And then there's no extra work for the installer. Um, and then you also uh, will not be able to see the PIR. So it's not, it won't be an okay. eyesore. Yeah, that's good. And then it's flex watt, flex color. Wow. Um, so there's three different Kelvin temperatures and four different wattages for infield adjustability. 
And then the, um, we actually designed this lip seed to be six inches wider so that it covers paint scars. That's old fixtures. That's pretty clutch. That's pretty and then um, we're also able to provide an EMG that goes right inside of it, if that's something you need. EMG inside of the fixture? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay. And so this is 120 through 277 volt. Okay. It's DLC premium, and it's backed by a 10-year warranty. 10-year warranty. Holy yeah. cow. That's an awesome fixture. Yeah. Absolutely. That's an awesome fixture. Uh, can, I, can I see it real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Take a look here. So how does this lens pop up? Oh, this is nice. So yeah, you can you can see the integrated uh, microwave motion sensor, so you don't have uh, have to worry about that. So that's uh, I feel like that's a classic Remfoss thing. These microwave sensors. So that's so that's awesome. Uh, but what uh what kind of price tag is associated with uh, yeah. something this nice? I'll get that for you right now. Okay. Uh, that's uh, so probably a little bit more. I, I love it, I, but uh, but the budget I'm working with is a little bit tight. Um, so yeah. I'm not I'm not sure that the price is going to work. No uh, worries. I've got a similar fi uh, feature uh, fixture. Oh really? Video. Okay. Huh. How about that? All right. So this is our Remfoss base stairwell fixture, um, which actually actually can double as a basic strip fixture. Um, so what's great about this is it comes in a two and a four foot. And then it also has that option to order it with that microwave sensor. And then, um, so this uh, two foot is a 20 watt unit. And then we have the four foot is a 32 watt unit. And that actually puts out over 4,000 lumens. Wow, that's good. And then um, this it just has a nice a slimmer, sleeker design. And then also we can provide an EMG that would go inside of that fixture. Okay. Right inside, it fits really nice, comfortably. Nice. And this is 120 through 277 volt okay. DLC standard with a five year warranty. Okay, okay. So I see why, yeah, it's at a, you know, possibly a different price point. Yeah, it's really easy to install as well. Oh, wow, you got the yeah. aircraft cables? So. Absolutely. So I mean, and really just one contractor, you know, needs to, you know, use it. They don't need to have somebody else hold it while they're no. doing all this stuff. So that's a pretty nice, easy to install uh, yeah. feature. We're um, really great about innovation here at Life Fishing Design. How, uh, how about you throw me a price on that oh, fixture? Sure. Absolutely. Holy cow. Wow. That is a, that's, that's $50 less. Uh, that's, that's a winner. Yeah. Great. Would I, uh, would I be able to get a sample of that? Oh, absolutely. Here at yeah. Life Fishing Design, we're really great with samples. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, how about, uh, how about for those surface mount fixtures, like a drum? Yeah, fixture? so we actually have um, the Remfoss Pro Series, which actually has the same features and benefits as, as the Live Oh, is this one? So yeah. probably similar price? Yeah. yeah. Let me get a price on that guy. Yeah, I, li I like it, but uh, but this budget that I'm working with yeah. is a little, a little tight. Do you have something in the Remfoss Base Absolutely. Series? Absolutely. We have okay. another Remfoss Base um what do you got? All right. Oh, that's a good looking. Yeah. Drum. So this is our base utility drum. It's um, I'll give you a quick rundown. It's 14 inches. It also has flex color, flex watt. So it's 3,000, 3,500 and 4,000. And nice. then it has um, three different wattages. Okay. And then um, it's 120 volt and it is dimmable. Okay. It is Energy Star nice. and um, five year warranty on it. Okay. And then we also have a version, uh, a version I'm sorry, that uh, with a brushed nickel finish. You have that one? Absolutely. Also? I am one prepared person. Let me see that one. Look at how that's nice a, that looks. That's a pretty nice looking fixture. Got the little uh, brushed nickel design. That really uh, dresses it up a bit. So. Absolutely. Um, could you uh, could give me a price yeah. on, on these these two here? You got it. See if that's kind of similar to the other uh, Remfoss base one that works with my budget. So. Okay, there you are. Okay, looks like we got another winner, folks. Uh, that's actually about fifty percent. Wow, fifty percent less. So that's pretty good. Right. Um, this, I I mean, I'm gonna have to go talk to my purchasing guy. I mean, one, I mean, we should be stocking this stuff. I mean, at these price points, killer product. You have the flexibility. Uh, so, you know, one physical skew actually equals more than that. Um, you know what? Let me uh, give you, a, if I could sum up these Renfoss base products, maybe something you can give back to your uh, marketing guy. Uh, I would say the features and reliability you expect at an unexpected price. What do you think about that? I think that's fantastic. That's pretty good, right? Maybe I should go into marketing. I don't know. So. <laughs>
All right, well, guys, that's, uh, that's our little uh, skit on our new uh, Remfoss base products. Uh, we've got this, you know, great um, stairwell or, uh, or strip fixture. Uh, you know, this is available in the catalog and the price sheet. Uh, and then we've got these uh, drum fixtures as well. Um, also uh, available now. Um, there's more that are going to be added to this uh, base family uh, just to help, you know, when sometimes the budget's a little bit uh, tighter. Uh, we want to be able to have a solution um, for you and your customers to work with from light efficient design and from uh, from Remfoss. So.